Hello and welcome to Getting Clean on the Prairies. Today I am going to show you how I'm starting some seeds in my Aero Garden hydroponics uh, system. Um, I'm going to do the same process as I've done with my Kratky and use Rockwell for planting these seeds. Um, instead of buying the pods that uh, are supplied with the Aero Garden, they're kind of expensive, I think, just uh, using Rockwell in the uh, these cylinders that come with the Aero Garden works just fine. So I'm just putting a couple seeds into each of the uh, pieces of Rockwell. The first one I'm planting here is a Roma tomato. It's a determinate um, kind of tomato. And I'm only going to use two of the holes of the arrow garden for planting so there's lots of space for these two tomato plants to grow. The second tomato uh, seed that I'm planting is called a Russian Saskatchewan. Uh, these seeds both come from a local seed company called Blazing Star and all these seeds are um, hardy to my zone here in uh, Saskatchewan so I will be trying these out in the spring outdoors as well. So once I get the two um, planted in or set into the arrow garden, I'm just putting a few uh, pieces of clay pebbles around them to keep the light out. So here we are on day one. And they will be under lights probably about 16 hours a day. The timer on this arrow garden is set uh, for vegetables and I think that's at 16 hours on and 8 hours off. So here we are at six days and both um, tomatoes have sprouted and are at the two leaf stage. I see the aroma uh, has, uh, two of the seeds have sprouted here. So we'll have to remove one of those. So I'm gonna have to take some uh, tweezers here or small scissors and remove one of the plants so that the other one can uh, grow. So hate to do that, but has to be done so that'll go into the compost pile. So at 10 days I'm starting to see a lot of um, more true leaves coming up now. You can see that uh, we got a few there and also on the other one. So here we are at day 17 and these plants are really starting to take off. There you have lots of leaves and are um, really getting some strong roots growing now. So we're now at 27 days and these plants are getting very big and tall and I've had to extend the light of the arrow garden as high as it can go now. And these, um, I can see on the roots that they are getting very thick and strong. of the uh, arrow garden tomato plants as you can see these things are growing quite fast I am adding water to the reservoir probably every few days I'm using the hydroponic nutrient water that I use in my Kratky uh, plants as well and as you can see the stalks on these tomatoes are very strong and thick and that's the Roma. This is the uh, Saskatchewan Russian tomato. And I just was having a look here to see, and I'm quite excited to see that these look like um, 
the first sign of some blooms, I believe, coming on this plant. You can see right here. I'm sure those are uh, flowers that are going to be coming quite, quite soon. So this is getting serious. So this is very exciting. On day 30, we have blooms on the tomatoes. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, um, first segment of growing tomatoes in um, an arrow garden. I'm going to uh, work on giving it a good pruning with my scissors here, get rid of, rid of some of these branches that um, aren't really necessary and really focus on building some uh, nice fruit here. I'm gonna be switching my hydroponic nutrient blend now. Um, I'm going to be using the Root Farm Veggie Part 2. So this is um, uh, nutrients for tomato and vegetables. And it works good for um, the tomatoes and peppers and any kind of plant that's producing some fruit. So I will start mixing up my um, nutrients with these two and keep feeding it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you will keep watching to see um, how this all unfolds. Uh, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you are notified when the next video is ready. So thank you for watching and have a good day.